It is literally hours before some bearded monger squeezes his way down your chimney and scares the crap out of your kids. So until that point, I thought I would just do another quick Christmas video and I wanted to look at a catalogue. And for this one, I've gone quite far back in time. Back in time to 1958. This is the Little Woods Christmas catalogue, 1958-59 with a famous model displaying one of the warm, gay coats offered in this catalogue, and a very small, what is that, cockapoo? Dog? It's definitely a, it might be a rat, I think it's a dog. So let's move into this revolution of a catalogue. <laughs> it's got a comparison between what seems to be pre-war things and what's happening now and how this can revolutionize the role of the woman in the household as was the rather deranged thinking of the time there we go these things have not ha just happened by happy coincidence this is not a miracle which has been created by chance very clever men have worked doggedly towards it using the great and flexible powers of a modern machine tool and wonderful new materials to bring about the extraordinary change in home conditions with which the housewife now enjoys it, it's like do you remember those harry enfield sketches women know your limits in thought be plain and simple and let your natural sweetness shine through it's like a, it's like a parody isn't it it's like that um but there you go, this was the 50s, so let's move on. So we have a price reductions and catalogues amendment sticker here, we have measurements here, we've got some maid who's measuring up for rainwear and skirts and for girls and children. How to read shy <laughs> This is possibly the most patronising um, <laughs> catalogue I've ever seen. The Little Woods test in most extensive laboratories, most types of merchandise submitted by buyers for inclusion. So let's see, how do you read charts? The main point to remember is to check all the related measurements quoted on the chart. This is the chart used for dresses. Finally, it rests in your own hands. You know, this is an important decision you're making here. It's up to you, woman, to decide how this works out for you. Everything is easy to find though, so you shouldn't have any troubles and here we are we're straight into the 1950s dresses all looking very glee and happy with incredibly white teeth po possibly false uh yeah this is nice these dresses are uh, amazing you're all doing exactly the same pose there we go look here's a lovely gent helping his wife out with a towel is that a towel? I presume he's, his, he's, he's her husband. He could be just some creepy bastard. Who can possibly tell? We've got. Oh, look at that hat! That is amazing! What is that? G. Lady motorcyclist's helmets. What, yeah, what the hell is that going to protect you from? My word. I mean, safety wasn't the biggest thing back then, was it? These coats are. Horrific. I think that's the only way I can describe it. This looks like these look like they're straight from Columbo's wardrobe. I've got these nice caps going on here. She, she's what? What? She's just carrying a massive barometer around with her. Is that, is that how she rolls? Just, <laughs> just, and she's got a what? A, what is that? A birdhouse? A, a clock? What is it with the barometers? Is, is this to indicate temperature and dressing up for the cold? Anyway, let's scroll on through. Lots of women's clothing here because obviously women had to stay in the house so they couldn't go out shopping. They had to order all this stuff from the catalogue. Gaty girl. Underwear. Masses of underwear and some gloves. Just for if you want to hug a dirty bastard. More gloves, a bit of leg there, and she's holding some flowers, some scarves, some pants, long johns. Uh, why? I mean, why have we turned to illustrations here? Is this too lewd to show in picture format? We have to go to illustrated mode. Dressing gowns, dressing gowns. 
Oh look, there's an umbrella. But that is rather fetching, I must say. We've got some slippers. We've got some black suede booties. Oh yes, we have. And lots of shoes that resemble things my nan used to wear. And more shoes. And what is that? Is that a pair of football boots? Continental style football boots. Wow. They are... Wow. Just, yeah. That is amazing. Look at this guy. Who... Why is there just a picture of a random baby's face here? Look, <laughs> what, what's going on? Right, what's over here? We've got some kids, we've got some boy doing... What's he doing? Is that an apple? God knows what's going on here. We've got a tiny imp child down here. What's happening over here? We've got some... Oh, look at them! Nice, rather tartan looking things. I don't know why we've gone to cartoons. I mean, uh, uh, photographs expensive. Noddy! You can dress like Noddy! Wow, everyone's dream. I notice there's no um, gollywogs here. You don't want to dress like that, do you? Maybe you do, but glad to see some things were deemed inappropriate even back in the 50s. Oh okay, yeah, we've got some baby stuff. We've got some more baby stuff. We've got a pram. Oh, the catalogs were strange back then, weren't they? Look, look at them. There's some... What is that? Crocodile boots. More football boots. More shoes that look like they're from the 1950s. This is a 1950s... Well, this is nice. Look at these boys playing with this boat. They're going to have great fun. They're all touching each other. Oh, what the hell is... He's got a train in his hand. This is... What? <laughs> no! What's going on in this scene? What you just... What? Where's it gone? Where's that scene gone? Oh god, I've, I've, I've skipped back, haven't I? I've gone well back in the catalogue. It wouldn't even let me see it. It was a violation. Look! We've got, no! This is even worse! What's happened? Look, these... What are these boys doing? Just hanging around in their room, just checking each other's muscles out. This is very suspect. Guys, we've got some blokes looking at some records. Oh god, and they're just, just hanging around in the locker room with their wife fronts. Hey, this isn't what you do, is it? Look at this guy. He's just smoking some he's smoking a cigarette, there's long johns. Let's hope they're not flammable, mate. Got some gloves which could probably stop you from doing any any task whatsoever. They're just mitts. More coats, more cigars. That it looks hideously dangerous on a cycle. I don't know why. It's probably not. We've got a plane in the background. We've got some more detective looking outfits. A do-it-yourself garment. What, they, they just send you the fabric and you make it yourself? Ties or oh, a pipe. The most modern of fabrics. Fashions. Colours. Look at these people. Oh, look at him. He looks like he's straight out of uh, the British Empire, doesn't he? <laughs> these, these guys... I don't... I... He's... I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's just another... It's just another time, isn't it? I mean... What made the photographer think that this was a... A representative photo of who wants to wear these items? He looks like he's got glass eyes! I don't know what the hell's going on here. I mean, these look alright. These look reasonable suits. He's gonna smack him, him around the face with his massive cane by the look of it. So, yeah, yeah. Alright, mate. People trying to be friends with each other. It's, it's like a Playboy. This is like a Playboy magazine, isn't it? It's like, uh, what clothes would you pick to go to a Playboy manor? And you'd probably grab yourself a typewriter at the same time as well. I just... I, sorry, I'm just having to look back through these. Hey! <laughs> oh, he's so jolly. Right, we've got some socks here. We've got some, uh, what, yeah, cases, uh, watches. They look nice. This bloke, you look like you're advertising for a migraine tablet, mate, not a watch. He, he's like, fuck, I, <laughs> I wish I had a better watch. Look at that face. We've got some shavers here, Remington shaver. We've got. I don't... What is this catalogue doing to me? It's just... 
I don't even know what's going on anymore. She's like, see you, Terry. I'm getting the fuck out of here. She is leaving home on that jet plane. Clocks, mirror. Oh, dodgy mirror scene. Sparkling mirrors to reflect the loveliness of your home. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm getting that vibe. So goddamn lovely. I used to have uh, one of these, these bath things that straddle the bath and you can dump all your toys into. I'm going to have to have a sip of coffee. This is... This is bewildering. This is nice, isn't it? You've just got like a little stand to chuck a load of plants into. Randomly in your house. Scales. A, a bog. A bog seat chucked down the corner. More plants. Cactuses. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, we chuck a. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. We'll chuck a wheelbarrow in there. And and some car seats and a steering wheel. A sl I used to have a, a Mark 1 Ford Fiesta. And I had some. I put some covers over my seats like this because the seats were buggered. Um, they weren't as exquisite as these. They weren't this sort of affair. I wish you wouldn't stop doing this. Why am I back here? I've got to find out where I was again now. I've had to switch to a new PDF reader because uh, my other machine has got the one I was using beforehand. It's proving a little irritating. Okay, we've got some hammers. We've got some tools. We've got, yep. Yeah. Hey, hello, mate. That looks like Dusty Bin. Little Woody says, remember to tell any children you know about Little Woods Little Woody Club. What? It is open to any boy or girl up to the age of 15. Give your full name, address and birth date and return a little woody badge. A membership card giving all the club rules will be sent to them. I, I, I don't think I'd like to join the little woody club. If that's alright. Here we go, let's move into some toys. We've got a doll's house. What are the prices here? 68 and 6? Six? 60, I don't even know how to work this out. C. What's this? This looks interesting. Noddy's Sweet Shop. That looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that. We've got some sweets. Because it's a... And we've got... What's this? We've got a baby in a box. It's... It's, it's, it's turning into a hover brochure now. We've got a typewriter. Typewriter? It really works. £8.17. £8.17. For home use, an excellent model for children and juniors will save time in compiling lists, school notes, and household correspondence. Look at those buttons, they are square and rigid. Look at that, it's a thing of absolute glory, isn't it? Okay, we've got some more typewriters, we have some cars, a desk. These kids look like they're having a whale of a time. He, that, that isn't to scale, is it? But we've got some horses and a... I mean, if I got that for Christmas, I don't know whether I'd be happy or not. It's just... You're just stuffing yourself into a very tight space with some plastic horses in front of you. This, on the other hand, bloody castle. That looks amazing. Look at that. Junior kit, superb, ingeniously interlocking... God, I'd love that. I still, I still like that now. We've got some building construction sets. Freddie Mills punch ball. Sonny's got heavies on his minds. What oh, balls? Bonga. I, I seem to remember something. There was like a, a one of these in the 90s, wasn't there? Like a bonga thing, which was had like a ball in the middle rather than a stick, and you could kind of balance on it. That was quite cool. This thing, this toolkit, that made it well into the 90s. Remember seeing things like that in the Yargos catalogue in 1990? This Dan Dare radio station. Whoa, look at that. Transmits voice or morse to half mile radius? Does it really? Built in tapper key for flashing searchlight and transmitting code. Searchlight turns through 360 degrees automatic decoder. That seems pretty advanced even for today. Train sets. Sky Park. I mean, this is when you knew that toys were durable, wooden, solid, possibly shit, but, you know, look, we've got this, we've got an early scale electric type track here, a luxury car track, a, 
a, a separate push button control operating each car provides the thrill of a game. There isn't many brand names, is there? I mean, we've got. Normally, you, you look in catalogs now and you see brand names everywhere. We've got Bell Organ here, but there isn't much. It's just kind of. Everything seems like it's just part of this catalog. Maybe that was the idea. We've got Monopoly. And. And, and, and. Waddington's Careers. Now, that is a game I haven't played. Anyone played that? An exciting new game by the makers of Monopoly. Obviously, didn't last as well as Monopoly. You work out your own success from. Formula. Here we are. And experience the thrill of achieving it. Playing board, 19 and a half inches square. Delightful. Dartboard, banjo, bicycles, radios. Some pots and pans, of course. There's the woman and there's the husband peering over her shoulder at every opportunity. You got my dinner ready yet, mate? Oh, look at that. That's like a pan that you can stuff everything into. That is. Oh, it's a steaming thing, isn't it? It's got a steam vent. Wow. Wow, look. Look at. I. Yeah, she framed. Framed seasoned. Seasoned. Frames of seasoned timber. Of course, this is like. Uh, before we had like real proper fitted kitchens, isn't it? You could just buy like cabinets like this and stick them in the corner. Kitchens always looked a bit weird. I mean, by today's standards, they are weird. Spoons. Sweep it yourself. Save some money. Stop sending little boys up chimneys. Give them a break this Christmas. Ironing boards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she looks deliriously happy. She's got foam air, a cushion pad for wrinkle-free ironing. Isn't that the point of ironing? To make it wrinkle-free? You bank! Is this what he was doing back in the 50s? He was making bloody sweepers. That guy gets everywhere. He does all sorts. The sweepers with a worldwide wide reputation. You bank elite. You bank Elfin. You bank Renown. Obviously, it's not Chris Eubank. This is, um... He would have been quite young. Imagine. We've got some fire heaters. We've got some crystal ware. Where's the Christmas decorations? I mean, we've got lots of pictures of women in distant, death staring poses, but we don't seem to have furniture. Look at that. Look at that bed. That is sprung to high heaven. Cupboard. We've got a, a bee to represent honey. Yep, she's just chilling on her unmade bed. It's the bare mattress. Probably looks like it's from some sort of dodgy hostel that you'd rent a room out for on an hourly basis. Maybe that's where the picture was taken. And again, she's rocking it without a sheet. She's just like, yeah, fuck it, I don't need sheets. I just buy a new mattress every so often. Every every week. Some more stuff. More well, look at this is this is glorious. This is like Austin Powers territory. He's doing an E.T. impression before E.T. even existed. He's probably dead. She's probably dead. These kids are probably hiding from their father after killing him. Hiding from the law enforcement agencies. We've got a Mexican! Hello, mate! <laughs> We've got a stereotypical Mexican in the corner. And a... Oh, Christmas. This is getting Christmassy. We've got Christmas blankets. People just dead in their... Oh, no, she's all right. Tape measures, blankets, folded, tiny, tiny beds. What the hell is that? Why are these beds so bloody s It's best to start to ask, isn't it? I just... I'm just at a bit of a loss as to what was happening in the 50s. Was there some sort of post-war delirium? What the hell were people thinking? He, he looks ill. He, why? I just... I, I just... <laughs> what? There's carpets. Why is there massive carpets? It's like rug runners. Look at these designs. I mean, some of these are quite nice, I guess. There's just so many of them. There's just so... There's just so many rugs. What? Why were there so many rugs in the 50s? And f tiled floors. And that's it. We're at the end of the catalogue. 
I used to have a pair of curtains that looked like that. Sort of 1980s style. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these patterns, these could easily be used as 1980s patterns. Apparently the 1980s came from the 1950s, but then that makes obvious sense. Littlewood's catalogue is packed with bargains for yourself, the family and the home. Order with complete confidence. So there we go, 488 pages of Littlewood's bliss from the 1950s. 